again we met in yes, berlin at berlin film festival exactly yeah how are you? I'm Last coming year. to Berlin. I'm fine. Really? I, well, I'm not supposed to tell you that. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm so happy to see you because every time I see you, it's uh, big, big fun. Oh, good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Are you running? Yeah. And I love your part in the movie. Thank because, you. Because uh, it's so cool. So how, mu how much fun was it for you playing Mr. Woodhouse? It was very good fun. I like playing anxious men. I like playing uptight guys. And did you remember some, some funny moment from the, from the, from the shooting? I never remember funny moments from the shooting. Do I remember any funny moments from the shooting? No. We had a lot of fun. It was, and I know they will say that, but it's for real. Uh, they were a really nice bunch of people, and we had some laughs. Hmm. And uh, my favorite scene is when you're sitting on the loo and Emma and the other guy just walking around like nobody is happening here. Oh, yes, this yes, is, yes. This is so great because it's just one scene. Yeah. But... Uh, it, it, it opens your heart because this is this is this is it's the tone of the movie and I would love to see more of this uh, kind of sarcastic uh, things yeah. uh, that we have a little bit little bit in um, when you uh, are looking at this um, this story of Emma this this girl who is not uh, sure uh, should she take a man or not so um, uh, what what did you did you think about that that's that story in that um, time well, I think what's always interesting, if you read something that is a great book, which in this case it is, mm. yeah, how relevant, how nothing changes, how it's ex people's concerns are exactly the same as they always were, and human beings behave within a pretty narrow range of behavior. And when it comes to great passions, they are the same, and their mistakes are the same, and we, we, con you know, we continue to make the mistakes. Nobody learns from history or learns from precedent. Um, and that romance is romance, and that um, and that people are, for the most part, generally, you know, decent. Mm. And coming back to your part, because um, the last time we met was um, the kindness of strangers. Oh yeah. Where you played this Russian restaurant guy, yeah. which has also this kind of um, effect on that movie, like uh, you have as Mr. Woodhouse on Emma, because it's this kind of um, of, of funny thing that's just uh, going around. Um, at the con con continuing um, a little joke, which which breaks the story a little bit up, which yeah. is cool because then you are sitting also as a man in this in the cinema, and you can say, okay, this is, this is worth uh, looking that movie because uh, you you nailed it. You you, you are so so well, so, so great. So um and when you choose that role or when you did get the offer for that role, so um, how long how long did it take? Because you say, okay, I take it, I do it. Well, in both these cases, I did the job. In both Kindness of Strangers, Lona Scherfig was the director. And she's a friend of mine and a wonderful director. And Autumn Wilde, who I'd never met before, is also a very special and unexpected person. And I was very keen to work with her. Uh, it's her first movie, and I think she's done a sensational job. And, I, uh, and so the director was the reason I chose both of them. Also, because of what you say, it is good to be, you know, and at my age, I, you know, that's... So there will be roles of that kind because I won't be playing the romantic leads. So therefore, you know, I'm very happy to play the part that, as you say, which is a continuous mm. kind of theme through the movie, which maybe mm. breaks it up a touch. Mm. For me as a science fiction fan, it was great ah. seeing you in Doctor Who yeah. and uh, also as a Victor in uh, the Underworld movies. Yeah. So how much fun was it doing, doing this kind of character? I loved being a vampire. I love being a vampire. I want to be a vampire some more. Uh, I made two movies as a vampire. I've been a, I've been a squid, obviously, which is not quite sci-fi, but I've also been a, a zombie. And I'm very, very happy playing men from other dimensions. Uh, and I hope to do some more. I like hissing. <laughs> I like doing all that shit, because it's funny, and uh, it's stupid, and it's also kind of exciting. So is there maybe a favorite path that you want to play in the future? Is it a vampire or did you have maybe some other things in sci-fi history that you want to play? I would like to play, I read sci-fi. I read a lot of William Gibson, Neil Stevenson, people of that kind. No, not people of that kind, but other near, possible near futures. Not so much outer space. I like it when it's, uh, when they extrapolate from today's technology in order to imagine what the near future might possibly be like. And it's exciting. And therefore, I would like to make movies of that kind, like exploring the possible near futures, and I would like to have a superpower. So if it means that I have to be a vampire, then I'll be a vampire with enormous strength, perhaps physical strength, or even the ability to disappear and reappear somewhere else. So my last question, if you could have a superpower in real life... If I could which, have a superpower yeah, in real which life... Which would you choose? Maybe I'd flying or... Uh, I would like to, I think I would actually like to be able to disappear on the spot and rematerialize anywhere else I chose. Like beaming in Star Trek? 
like beaming. Yeah, in Star Trek. Great. Thank you so much. My Great pleasure. Interview and uh, hopefully seeing you see, uh, yeah. in Berlin. Because, yeah. uh, we will see. I will.